Hello there. Welcome to Stream Star Citizen. Space Adventure starts here again. Wonderful galactic sightseeing tour. Blows your mind. I might to try and get something productive done today in the game, like a mission or two. <laughs> Although, you know, last time was quite epic ending with the fighting we were doing. As a team with Kobe then, that was good fun there. Hope you're all well. The hundreds are tuned in. After the stream watching the video, come to. And, uh, subscribe, like. Smash those metrics. How's it going, Doc? Ambience? You had a good Christmas. What a launch, huh? What a launch. Absolutely flawless for James Webb. I'm I'm so excited to the for the science that's gonna uh come off that. I sent a really excellent um link in uh, in Discord which uh, allows you to track it, but looking good so far. Launch look flawless. Deployed the solar panel autonomously. Deployed the high gain uh, antenna, which is able to transfer many gigabits of data per day as required. But that, you know, they have full control now. Now the rest of the deployment of that telescope is now done by the ground control. There's nothing autonomous about that. It's all a, each stage right about soon actually it'll be passing the moon and as it makes its way to l2 it slows down tremendously as it's still being uh, influenced by the gravitational pull it's kind of imagine running uphill you've got so much momentum and uh, that starts to uh, pull back on it slowing it down with a couple of correctional burns to but it's uh, l2 which is a branch point just behind the moon and it kind of orbits and waves through that to stay there and do its science where it's got the maximum coverage from the sun it's it's kind of tingly because it can do so much you know I think it's going to be another one of those oh my god moments like Hubble was you know when you first saw the pictures coming up from that it's going to take years and years to process all this stuff there's still, you know, that whole milestone thing with the deployment, which is, you know, it's across NASA. NASA, you know, it's going to work. Find a way. Yeah, I, it's been a few, few months, I think. And uh, I've been, uh, that view that you get up to here. <laughs> That's pretty nuts, isn't it? I like I like, uh, I like living in a place in the sky. That's um, I think that would be a, be a choice if I had one. What's going on, Executive Impact? You watched the launch, went to plan. Yes, it did. My dad is a friend that worked on the autonomous system for it and the Apollo program. Well, that's that's a dude you want to sit down and have a debate with, you know. Same. Right, I've joined. Um, I chose EU server this time rather than the random one. So, was, well, we we actually played for a long time. Oh wow, someone's taken off there. Straight up, but I don't know if I can can't zoom up. That nope, disappeared into the clouds. I mean, when you look. At when you look at that spacecraft, you know it's going through the clouds and you know it's going up through. It's crazy, isn't it? It's not like uh, it teleports somewhere. Oh, it looks so realistic. <clears throat> like that physical representation. Right, we're going to spaceport. 
last time I left my ship up there, but uh, hopefully it got recovered. I might have to uh, put in a claim. And we'll see what we get. I mean, we, we've sent um, rovers now to, to Mars, which are curiosity. Perseverance, like seriously looking for signs of life on Mars, like just bacteria, anything, just anything left behind or potentially still active in ice. So who knows? But James Webb, once that starts peering through, well, I suppose the big thing is all of a sudden it looks into the distant galaxies and realizes there's structures out there which are, you know. Never know. Or it peers into the atmospheres of planets and it's like, well, we did realize that there's a hundred billion exoplanets around here, so it's like it's like maybe the first twenty out of fifty that we looked at looks like there's trace traces in the atmosphere that support life and then it's like okay, my god, the calculations could be true. <clears throat> Transport. I think it's over, over here or over there. It's over here. Go over the other side of. I've got my uh, space suit on. I think. Yeah. I, sh I should be good to go. Pretty good this one actually. alien-like. <clears throat> hmm. Let's get the space train. Oh yeah, the discovery tool's on on you, right? That would kind of be last time. On anything yet. Yeah, they're not open for business, but that that will give you a flight route all the way around this place. <clears throat> How's it going, Bubba? All good. All good. Just enjoying the, uh, the galactic views here. They've gone up a notch again. Uh oh. Or they go down a notch again. Oh dear. So that is the game just crashing out. <laughs> it worked so well last time. Right, I'm going to restart. <clears throat> the only thing I did differently this time was I specified that I wanted to go on a EU server. I thought I'd ensure that I'd have a, a low ping just to make sure that my uh, ship to ship docking could potentially work as best as possible. But I think I'll, I'll, I'll switch it over, you know what I mean? Oh. Yes. I really wish, John says, I really wish a good, good Christmas. I really wish that was my view from my room. Uh, yeah. Or we could strap on some VR goggles and get almost as good. Why couldn't we be alive in a few hundred years? Maybe you will be. Who knows? Best thing we can do is um, either Neuralink hurries up or uh, <laughs> Popsicle. <laughs> Even Popsicle, I think that's the best we can do. Alright, I'll try it again. I'll just leave it on EU. And, and see what happens. In the last stream, someone mentioned something about a test version of some kind of VR for this. 
I think the difficulty you have with the game that's in development and then shunting it to VR is the performance thing of it. It's like if you tone things down so far, then you can get that sort of like 90 frames a second minimum you need um, for VR to work properly. It needs to maintain a higher frame rate. It starts to go below that and all of a sudden you, you know, you've pulled out of that experience. So it's a very specific window you have to get that to work in, it seems. I don't know, it's 60 or 90 frames a second or something like that. Where the hell am I now? What? Rimhex? Damn, that must have been from a previous life. <laughs> <laughs> now I've just been stuck in the dump. What the hell is going on? Two. I was, I was looking for a... I was... <laughs> sucks, doesn't it? You live in the dream one moment. Still, what the... You see, I went... Funny that. I stopped off here last time with my ship. Uh, Orison was my uh, spawn point set officially. I didn't choose this. I don't know. Hmm. You see no gameplay. I've got another crash window behind me. Okay, something's weird here. Hang on, hang on, guys. You. What? What? What do you? See? We've got a Star Citizen label in the top left hand corner of the strip. What? Hang on. I might have to start, restart this again. That, how is that even possible? Yeah, it's capturing the Star Citizen the AC. One second, let's push this to that. Oh! Well, auto works. That's new. Right, let me set to capture specific. Well, that, I believe, is how you reset it in the future. Just switch it on and off. <laughs> I've got a load of uh, submission windows here. One sec. Yep, I think we're back. Sorry about that. I'm so used to it tracking the actual uh, executable of the game. Salute the global chat and then I'll switch you off. I need to concentrate. I might have to turn it on later when we're in the uh, in the wild zone. This has changed so much. Now I remember this place around the back. We've got the bar here. And there used to be like a clothing store, but that might be up on the higher level. That's the exit. I don't need I need to get out of here. What the hell did I just do? I just yelped. And now I'm down to 90% health. What the hell is going on here? Have I got any... <laughs> what? This is an old life. I... So this is me in the wrong place with my medical stuff on. What I took this off. You see, what you saw in the in the first instance was how things should be. This is like I've almost got an old save. All right, let's take this off. Oh, I'll go there. I'll go here. Right, I need to put the main suit on, I think, first. Oh no, actually, I need to put the space suit on first. Is there like a easy click thing to put this on? Like, can I control click it or something? 
Left and right, then quit. Okay. Right. Quit. Quit. That's all I've got. I've got a combat knife. But this is what I've got stored in Grim Hex anyway. That's my, uh, that's my backpack, I think. Put that on. Knife. Clip. Interesting. Ah, my health is coming back to me. That's good. Minor, minor wound then. Bring, bring it back. Is that event? Do I eventually like self heal a little bit too? Ah, do you know there's a brilliant series on Xbox YouTube channel that says six. I think it's a six part series. All about the creation from the first Xbox, going through people designing it, you know, how hard they fought to get that thing to work to convince Bill Gates that it was the thing to do. Well, actually, it's Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer, the transitional period there, so I've got both of them to try and get, get them to do it. And, you know, putting things together with sticky tape, you know, getting a PC and strapping it and cutting it down. And, and it was just absolutely amazing, like, piece of history. Yeah, it's got an amazing piece of history. And just connected with so many different points in time there, thinking to myself, yeah, okay. And it, it explained the whole Red Ring thing and what happened there and the absolute, like, massive effort they went through to sort that out. It, it just, whether you realise or not, the amount of effort that goes into bringing that box to market is absolutely unbelievable you got this whole group of people that are literally visionaries but they're they're like almost an experimental direct text group stuck in a corner somewhere like doing a few things for windows where it's like okay this is windows this is office you know we'll make it compatible with some pcs and microsoft had like a golf game then flight sim game then but they're still stuck in the corner there they've got all these ideas and they're the way they had to fight to try and get in in front of the main man and this they got it in front of bill gates and they were up against the Windows CE team who, who effectively um, were did all the Dreamcast stuff. And because the X, because the X uh, DirectX crew brought an actual demo of a of a console they hashed together, and they stripped down, they actually snuck into the uh, uh, Windows because <laughs> you know you can tell can't you? you've got this all departmentalized. You know? The Windows NT kernel is only for the you know. Nobody gets hold of that. Nobody. We don't even talk about it. You know what I mean? And so they went in and they actually took the NT kernel and and completely stripped it down. And then when they turned that box on in front of Bill Gates, his jaw dropped open and he literally jumped up because all of a sudden they got Windows to boot in about three seconds, and it was like that made him jump out of the chair because he could see what well, you know what, what, what the hell's going on. How did he get it to boot so fast? But that was it. That that started the uh, the interest off there. It was a, it was a fantastic documentary because it. It pieces a lot of events together that affects you as like a as a consumer of the product, and uh, you know that how difficult it is to actually bring something like that to market. It worked totally because I I, I swear to God I wanted to go and buy an Xbox uh, right there again because I've got my 360 upstairs you know still and, and I think somewhere I might even have the original one, but um, yeah. You can't get them. <laughs> you, you absolutely can't get hold of them. There's, they're nowhere, unless you want to get scout price on eBay, of course. But um, yeah, there's a lot in there. It's all about how Game Pass is transitioning things, and it's like, it, it's a lot in there. A lot in there. Really, really interesting series to watch. Each of them are a good 45 minutes each. You've got a lot of juicy details in there of everyone who took took part in it, including all the stuff from Bungie and Halo and uh, the pressures they were under to get that to um, work and release. Because there was a very short space of time, it was only about a year 
that they had to get something that was nothing to market. And with a premier title like Halo, and it just all ended up working. We sit there by game, but for that box to sit there in my living room, there was people like spending literally whole, you know, years of sleepless nights there, working absolutely like flat out to try and bring it all together. It, And I just, there was points in history that that you just resonated the same. Yes, okay, I had the Red Ring thing. Yes, they sorted it out. That ended up not being a, a problem so much. Um, they were expressing those out to everyone all over the world. Like, here, here you go. You know, UPS or DHL, whatever it was. Here you go. $200,000 for the first run. <laughs> it's like, it was unbelievable. And then, uh, yeah, and then the the release of Halo and then 360 came out that was nuts but I, I honestly I had my first 360 lasted until I think it was a week before Halo 2 was going to release and they quickly changed it around so I just got another one right before that hit and there was just so many games the achievements and everything it was just absolutely going for it and then there was that moment with the Xbox One the, the the show before the gaming show, the one that was all about TV, and I think all us gamers were sitting there, we were watching it at the same time, it was like, where are the games? <laughs> that was just the conversation. It was exactly the conversation. It was it just, I remember being there that time, thinking you know, talking about it, it was like, what the hell? And of course they had to make a course correction there. And yeah. Really good though. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That's on the um, the Xbox YouTube channel. Where am I going here? I'm going to somehow punch out, right? So, let's go find the computer consoles. What have we got here? Here they are. I'm not familiar with the changes here, so these things are in different positions. I swear they were over there last time. But this, this is... Uh, this is nice. Alright, let's see what we've got in stock. Yeah, admittedly, I did actually leave them out. So let's, um... Let's claim the ship. File insurance claim. And we'll pay the exploit fee. Why not? I'll bring it down to about four minutes and I can talk about more stuff. Yeah, so it's... Just, um... You know, I, re I really appreciate it. I would appreciate that. I think knowing the the inner workings even even more because you were you were talking about a complete shift and I felt I felt it too because I was I was kind of part of that as well. You know, I, I never I never I never had a console in my lap that was worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars if I lost it. You know what I mean? That is is ridiculous. They they sent that to me in the UK. Like, here you go, test test live. And I'm a, I was a massive PC gamer there. I was playing Counter-Strike, you know, super high level, obviously. I was in New Zealand at the time, and I was absolutely kicking their ass. They were calling me cheaters a lot of it, but it was absolutely brilliant. And I met up with a lot of those guys there, and uh, we had a fantastic time. And so I was well into that. I knew what voice comms was. I knew what FPS was. I had all exposure to that for years before anything was a box in the living room. And then all of a sudden, I got, a, I got sent the next box... It wasn't even out in Australia and New Zealand. In fact, it wasn't even out then. It was it was just like sort of... It was testing platform. It was a clear green box. And I was so excited about that. I had that sent to me. To... to uh, had to go via Australia to New Zealand. And Australia looked at that box and they're like, What the hell is that? They phoned me up. They said, What the hell is that? You know, not, not like that. But, you know, they were asking what the hell was it? Because they, they'd never seen what an Xbox was. And they don't have a listing price for how much the custom should have been on that item. I was like, it's just a game. It's a games console, and of course, uh, thinking I'm under NDA, I'm not going to sort of go and tell them it's a you know top secret live project that you know should be playing. And just tell them that. So what do they do? Well, there you go. Uh, well, apparently this might retail in Australia for a thousand dollars. Okay, great. We'll we'll charge you the appropriate double uh, customs price to uh, get that through Australian customs. Yeah, thanks, guys. Anyway, so I ended up paying three times the price of a console to get that to land on my lap, which was was fine by me. Uh, I didn't care. I liked the games too much. Sat down, put that disc in, and it was it was Revolt. 
It was the simplest game you could ever think of for like remote control cars racing uh, uh, around the track of it. But that was that was like the the demo to prove that live actually worked. And I'm sitting over the microphone on there. I'm sitting on the couch. I'm not sitting in a computer seat anymore. I'm sitting on the couch. You know, saying it's the couch. I've got the controller the controller with me. I've got Revolt. And there we are spinning around and I'm meeting tons of random people so easy. It, was, it wasn't like, for some reason on PC, it wasn't easy as easy, but it was easy. But this is super easy, you know? And, um, oh man, that was just, uh, it was weird. It was different though, wasn't it? Because it was just all in that box in your living room. And I, I, I got the TV upgraded there and, um, yeah, it's probably ended up being like 10 times the console <laughs> release from us. It was, it was quite, I was just thinking about what exactly I did to make that, to uh, make that happen, but, um, no, seriously, it was, uh, it was a privilege to do that. I played quite a few early titles and a couple that never made it to release, I don't think, was it Lamborghini that never made it to release? That was a wicked, wicked racing game. I'm kidding you not, I know we had, like, Gotham and, and other titles that came out, but there was a, a title, uh, oriented around Lamborghini that had these effects that I'd never seen in a car game. And uh, played Ghost Recon early. Unreal Tournament. That's brilliant. Ghost Recon was... New Ghost Recon was going to be an absolute killer. Um, as well as Unreal Tournament. They would... And you could just tell. Sat there and then all of a sudden the PC was like... What? Well, I've forgotten about that now. <laughs> it's so easy to get connected in, in the living room. So, yeah. good. It was a good move. Damn good move. The thing is, where am I at here today with consoles? I kind of slacked with it. I used to have, I bought every, I bought an Xbox um, One X. Is that right? One X, which is the 4K version of the One. Yeah, because I was playing Red Dead on that, remember? I bought that for Red Dead. <laughs> it's freaking crazy, man. It was so worth it. But I got that for Red Dead. And the new one, well, it's been out technically a year now. The new Xbox, a really powerful piece of hardware. That's the most powerful piece of console hardware. But what? I look a little overdressed. <laughs> right, let me check. What did I have voice key again? Or voice key B. Hello. Probably checking as well. Like is voice working? There's voice key and there's countermeasures. I need to make sure that I know. Because there's no use being shot at in your ship and you don't know how to respond to that situation. Like it was, you know, second nature. Let's see if we got that bounce still. Yes, I do. Hello there. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? What, are you going to the beach or something? Yeah, I was talking to you. Fine. Probably hasn't bound it either. Alright, let's get the ship out of. I'll make sure I've got my uh, snub fighter connected to this too. Otherwise, I'd put it away and get the other one and then attach it again. You know, it's like... Boom. Yes, it's risky being out here in the... Uh, in the outer rim. The belt -a. This is where the Bauta people live. Oh, by the way, by the way, if you're not watching The Expanse, this new season that's out, part three I'm onto now. Oh my god. I watched uh, episode three in the space battle in that. It's amazing. Ah, oh, so good. The Expanse is so good. It's a must watch. What pad am I on? I thought we were on seven. What the 
I think of it. Way down in hangar nine. Like underneath. Can we connect to hangar nine here? I need to go to the other side. You got you gotta have a look at the expanse. It's absolutely one of the best. Do I just skip across here or should I just spacewalk? I'm gonna try and look the other side. Yeah. I need to go to the other one, which is somewhat I guess is it this way? Hangers. Well look, my ship's down there, so I'm logically gonna go this way instead. Maybe there's a lift down there or something. I mean, I probably could have just jumped off the edge and spacewalked to it, but I've got to find my way around this place. Ah, that's actually quite a good detour. Get some uh, medical items. I need those. No, we can't buy them from here. This is a... Uh... Oh, of course, because I did time my location to there, so there was some mismatch. No, th this is right. So I've actually died. I'm dead. I, d I died, right? Or so. I don't know. Pharmacy and exit. It's like being a new location. This has changed completely. Right, there's an elevator. What's through here? Get distracted. This is the operating theatre. Can I buy some meds from here? Giver or something like that. Don't need that for the moment. Try the elevator. No. Wait, B1. This is down. Lobby. That's up, right? That's up. That's a short short. Hello, goodbye. So I think I need to take one of the smaller lifts. This is specific, right? Hangar 9. Specific lift for Hangar 9 or multi-lift? Maybe you go in the lift and you select Hangar 9. That's a small lift. <laughs> Alright, let me check out the uh, lifts. We've got elevator one. That's got to be it. Why am I 99% health? 99% health. I did. I, I self healed the hanger, man. Good hanger. There we go. Witcher 2 season was great. Yeah, I blasted through that so quick. That was amazing. That felt like it was too short. I don't know why, but it felt like it was too short. Okay, Snub Fighter is connected. You beautiful, shiny thing. Oh, a new one every time. It's an excellent job. Even the ship a good scrub. Service run is great. On you, exits better be fast. So where are we gonna go? Honestly, where are we gonna go? It's been ages since I've been to Hurston. Has Hurston used the uh, new volumetric cloud stuff? Okay, let's power up the ship. Light ready. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the system check. Calling services. Open the big doors, man. Jeez. 
shields are charging. I love this new look to the panels. Really good. They could have had four more episodes easy, yeah. I, I mean, it, it felt like that. Mr. Mary, how are you doing? Hope you had a nice Xmas too. Let's not go too far up. Masters only. Get that gear up. Vitol off. I think we're going to need that here. Okay, one more shield start charging up. Thank you. Whoa, they won't if I shut the power off. Did I just hit Y? Hang on a second, I need... Did the power back on? What did I press to shut the power down? Or does someone just EMP me? Wait a second. Get them back on there. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Washing machine's going. I can't hear anything. <sighs> All right, let's plot a course. I want to do some missions today. Have you tried uh, your rover in the hole yet? No, that's that's a good point, actually. I haven't done that in ages. What I did test in the last stream was the ability to leave the craft and reattach. That seemed to work, like, brilliantly. You know, nothing sort of disappeared or blew up in that event, which was uh, really cool. Let's go to Hurston. Let's set a route there. Okay, engines to full. jump watch out we're drifting sideways fire in the thrusters nice and smooth I think There we go. It won't take too long, we're still accelerating. <clears throat> yeah, so let's think of what I've got to memorize key wise again. Just going to have a look at the bindings. Scan mode. Got target lock T. Yeah. Okay, flight ready. So our engines. Shields. What did I press to cut the power? You. I pressed you. Emergency exit is shift and emergency exit seat. <laughs> shift and you. It says I use keyboard because it's a consistent thing between ships. 
I enjoyed your turreting in the Redeemer. Those S5 guns melt ships. Absolutely. They were killer. The amount of hits that ship could take, it really was not... Um, Okay, there was a couple of times where the shields in one place were taken out. But there was no lasting damage done, which uh, I told the pilot and Kobe rotated round, you know, give it a chance to recharge. But it's um that was a fun fight. I think um could very well be that there's other missions that are a bit more difficult and you're up against uh more there. So, a question I asked, um, I think in the last, last stream was along the lines of turrets. I mean, I'm piloting this thing solo. It has the ability to, uh, you could add turrets or something. You know, it's like, can you put an AI in the seat or can you set them to automatically uh, defend you if you're fired upon? The rover thing is a good idea. I haven't tested that. Maybe um, we'll pick it up at Hurston. We we'll get it on board, and then we got all three things going. We'll see what missions are available around that area. Now, if I oh shit. I went to my inventory there. Well, I have to get out my seat to get out my seat in order to access my inventory. But I wondered if the ship has an inventory when I do it. Yeah, it sure does. Which we've got nothing on at the moment. So I, I need to. Um, I assume that the vehicles. Uh, inventory is persistent as well. And uh, I suppose that goes up of your ship. If you raid a ship, how do you access its inventory? I've got to get medical assistance, I think. Get rid of this. Oh, it's gone. I appreciate the offer, right? I, um, I'm going to fly to Constellation today and um, we'll test out the different things with uh, what it can do with its cargo hold and etc. I think that's what I feel like doing today. Zeno, what's going on? Had a good Christmas. I think I'm just going to report that user again for spam. I don't know why it comes in here. A couple of peeps that like to spam this stuff that never shows on the videos, but they do it every time you post. Weird. Like bots. Unless destroyed. Okay. That makes sense. And you access other people's inventories to raid their ships. Or is it only accessible by me? Arrival should be in about a minute. Any thoughts on a new Jump Town action? Now, Jump Town, you have... Jump Town's not marked, is it? I, I don't think that's marked on the map, is it? You have to find that by knowing your landmarks, I think. So, for one, I have no idea where that is. I think I used Reddit last time to 
of any chance of finding it. And then I think when I got near it, I was uh, shot out of the sky by a, a torpedo from another ship that looked like it was half the size of the ship. It was nuts. At least the brief milli <laughs> millisecond you get to see the incoming fire, you know? <laughs> it was... It was no chance down that one. Oh, it's an emission. Right. So eventually you come across it. definitely need to stock up on some medical items I need to I need medic pens and some oxy pens just in case we get a bit low side. We need to get an orbital marker. Wants to cool down this. Okay, wait a second. This is all red because of cool down. What are we getting here? Rover. Is there any other place on this planet apart from Laville which I can get medical items I can buy medical items because I could go to one of the smaller stations and get the rover out I think one of the uh, terminals here will just allow me to spawn that in or we could go to reveal directly below I think Go with what you know for the moment. American Main City. Oh. Bit of reorientation. Quite good though. Same quite good, very good. Travelling is very easy. You'd expect, you'd expect a high level of autonomy this time, and on the dark side of the planet. It's night. Or well, offline. What? Okay, for a second there was a flight. I can tell the difference in atmosphere. Wow. I've I've I'm spawning upside down and I'm trying to pull up. <laughs> Let's try uh, turning VTOL and does that help with stability out here? Oh yeah, okay. Let me think about this, the way I used to get a rover is... It says warning nearing restricted area. We're going to be okay about this altitude. Hope you're right. As if I head to one of the external ports which I believe should be still around about where I think it is then we can get the rover out one 
down there. Wow, oh, so peaceful here. Is out. Is that it down there with the flashing beacon? I think it could be. I'm going to try and land my ship out there and then we'll get the rover on board. There she is. Oh, this all depends on how close and then the ship which in to trust us I don't think I used to be able to get this close but it'd be interesting if I can land it right down outside there would be uh, would be cool we'll self play on that way cooler when you're landing on them. Lights. <laughs> the ship's actually getting blown backwards or is that because I'm on a restricted area? Might uh, not be able to land here. Or maybe, okay, I don't know. No, I'm being pushed away. I think that's the, the game sort of saying, no, you can't. Here we go. Autopilot override. So I need to move a little bit out here. It used to be alright somewhere over here. Proximity there. Yeah. Some kind of front. I put it down right about here. And now. Excellent. Alright, make sure we're locked up. We are, and I think we'll just turn the engines off. There. Hopefully the train is okay. It's a little bit to one side, but if I'm lucky. I'll be alright with that. The 
just change my stance. Hold on. Oh no. No, I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> I think. I think. I'm slightly injured. I'm actually struggling to... Is that fatigue? Already? What's going on here? I can hardly run. down. I'm not getting like heart rate issues, am I? Heart rate happens to be a steady 61 beats, man. I'm an athlete. Player status temperature. Be aware that strong winds can severely drop temperatures and make it difficult to move. Okay, so it's me kind of fighting the elements. Yeah, this this is a lot longer than I thought it would be. It's not going to be long to get back because it'll be in the actual bug itself, but the, it would be nice if you could land here. It is easier, I think, to get the, um, it's easier to get the actual buggy. You go to one of the smaller ports and just sort of land right by it. Yeah, one. Yeah, that would be a test if I go roam around the, roam around the city and uh, see if my ship uh, maintains its position there. I have to do that. Good to carry around just in case you trip on something. That mod. Exercise. It's on stage, how you doing? It's been a little while, hasn't it? This helmet I'm wearing doesn't actually have a light on it. At least it does. This helmet that I happen to be wearing does have a torch on it. I should use it. <laughs> That's better. These effects, though. upgrade. Remember we used to land here just run across there's nothing like this. The stretch. More perilous than you think. Oh bottomless territory there. Technologies really starting to come together now.
There's one more thing on the the bucket list I've got for this this game. Obviously, lots of different ideas, but I think just something to do with the current setup would be like a, a rocket pack or a a wing suit with a parachute. You can do some uh, orbital jumps. Suit now, jet and jets. Right, we're almost there. Man, a thousand meters away. I think I could have. Forget about where I was trying to land. Probably could have gone a bit closer. Yeah, as of yet, you cannot land in this, this lobby. Oh, this is all new. I don't think we can go in there. Oh man, this is last stretch. Just pick their legs up. Stand up straight. Is my stance like a bit? I don't know. No, I'm actually naked. I think. So what happens when we get inside? I can, I can hardly move at the moment. That'd be to slow me down, and that's as fast as I can go. What the hell is just happened over there? <laughs> it looked like three of the characters just tripped over each other's feet there. Oh, wow, woken up, yeah. Definitely environment. Right, let's get... Submit. So, com common supplies like um, med kits, oxygen supply pens and that, you have to go to a central place. There's no, like, kind of... Um, well, actually, no... You could probably go to one of the stop-off points, right? Mid space and asteroid belt or something. Yes. You want to go to Form One Metro Center? Or attempting to trespass at gate four. Alright, get some med supplies, maybe a, a burger or something, just keep the calories up. Out of space, you can stash them in the in my pockets. Well a leg injury would kind of tie into whatever I was doing, I was like just running a little bit and chat out pain like it sprained my ankle. I'm guessing that's the case somehow. Let's have a look what tasks we could accept here. What delivery mission? Search mission. Oh, these search missions give you good credits here. 11,000. An inoperable vehicle claim was recently filed by one of our clients freelance. The vessel was lost while transporting valuable package off the Probably not. It's our belief that those 
containers are still intact. Unless the current property owner, Olympus Principal, is eager to attempt to salvage them. We're seeking professionals to handle this operation on our behalf. Owing to the dangerous nature of transporters. Uh, Prolight. Hmm. Once it is removed from a power... <laughs> Powered stabilizer. After to collect containers from the Hurston wreck site, we may have limited amount of time to deliver them before they become dangerously unstable. Hmm. This seems like one to look at. I'll see if it's valid when I um. Where are we at? Two more gates. Or attempting to trespass on train tracks is a serious and dangerous event. Oh, I tell you something. I haven't had it in a while, but I tried some port on Christmas Day. And while it was very enjoyable after a couple of glasses. It hit me with the sword to the back of the eyeball migraine, which I've never managed to witness. So much so it gave me a, a twitch on my right eye. It was like sort of one in the water, but it couldn't. <laughs> it was really weird. So I'm not, I'm not sure if I have an allergy to that. It was quite a unique experience. Aspirin sorted that out. Pretty weird though. Yeah. <clears throat> now arriving, Floorville City Gate. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Step away from the platform edge when train is approaching. All right, perimeter gate eight. God, what were we at? We're at four. Yeah. Travel back there. We're now 12 kilometers away from my spaceship. Next stop, Metro Center. Well, let's stay there. No, no strokes. No weird vision. Uh, anything like that. It was, I call it a migraine. I'm fortunate enough, I don't really suffer from headaches. I know, obviously, what a headache is. This was, I was told it was a migraine because it was more of a like a having or something. This was just a weird effect. When I was younger, I had the glass of port. I came up in a rash all over the body like a mop of colour. I didn't drink it for like ages after that. And then I've had some in between, but I think this with no ill effects. But this particular one, yeah. It was... It was some uh, a shock to the head. Lovely flavour there. Wow. Here we are, the metro centre. Where I get kicked off, right? Let's disembark from here, and I need to now find the. Uh, The spaceport. Lip's still there, that's good. I think I need to go to Leavesden Square. Hmm. 
Welcome to Metro Center. Well, I think if you're spamming stuff on the port then I come off, that's fine. Useless. Never gets the spite at the end anyway. There we go. I see a medical sign. Workers District. Oh wait, I remember the um Year of Harvest not open. No no no. Still not open. Alright, where else can I go for this? Um likely to be one of the stores, one of the biggest shops. and disposal. Hmm. Would would uh, Tammany and Sons sell it? Hello. So close, but I don't know about some. Uh, I'll get some food here. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been waiting months for it too. Back ordered. they do. Nice one. We can rely on various shops having these available as well. Let's get four of those. And purchase them and transfer to your local storage to access your first. Okay. Good. And we'll get four of these too. How much of a refill does an OxyPen give you? Designed to refill pressure suit oxygen reserves in emergency. Refill. Cool. Be enough then. Checking my local inventory. If I double click, that gives me it straight. I've got two of those. Recommend take two of each with me. Oh, it looks like actually I can fit, what, three externally on my suit? I need to take one now. That automatically attached to one of the number keys? No. Right, let's go to my menu. Personal inventory. No, oh, wrong one again. Right again. Actions. Item actions. Weapon selection. No. Nope. Player. <laughs> uh, how do I use this stuff? Okay, just press C. So how do I change it? If I want to change that to an oxy pen, how do I switch that out? Oh, there you go. Hold C. Whoa, hold another level, this one. Cool. Alright, we got that much. And I can just switch out for that. 
Let's support it then. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay, good. Uh, excuse me. Yes. The gray what you cat. see is what we got. And before you ask, no, there's nothing else in the back room. What's in the back? Is <laughs> out of stock? Okay. Off. Alright, got the mid pins, we've got full health. Excellent. Um, maybe something to munch on to take on a trip, just in case we need some water and. Not from there, though. If I need to find an open restaurant, I can see it's a drink standing that is selling in my food. Welcome to the Transfers to the central line. A bit of pile up for in here. That's it, scatter. Nothing to see here, I don't think. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's an actual. Is that an extra player? Another one. What's the cause of this blockage? It wasn't the AI's fault this time. Oh, yeah, okay. Into the play. Ah, M and V's, of course. What do you got in the menu here? No, nope, they're not selling either. And then they got some shortages around here. Multi tour. Yes, I guess if I was um, prospecting for stuff. Do I need a multi-tool and all its attachments for the mission I might be going on? Might need a weapon. Do they have any good gun smiths around this place yet? Might not be the place. Grim Hex was. Right, I got what I wanted anyway. Let's go and get the rover out, dock it with the ship, and... And... I guess go out there. I'm not just, I'll look at what my calorie burn is. I want to see if I'm burning through... Does it not tell me when I'm... Is a hunger and thirst to thirst will come up later. It doesn't tell me where that's at. Alright, we can stop off for us. You know, UFO burger somewhere else. Let's go to the metro centre and skip back to zone 4. I need the perimeter line. Three, four to six to three. Was that three? Or was that four? I'm gonna go three because we can always go to four afterwards. This takes up one to two. It's the third stop. I don't think it's gonna be much of a difference, is it? Now let's go two, three, two, one, three. Yeah, let's go to gate three. Reserves the right to search travelers at any time. Now arriving from city gates. Stand by and let's I'm doing good, Alec. How are you doing? Boarding. You have a good Christmas. Step away from it's the for cutting and, and lifting heavy the objects the now as well. Hmm. 
in that case... I'll tell you what. Let's try and go on the mission. Are they, are they, is it required for lifting heavy? As in, it depends if you're in zero G, right? If we're in zero G and we're salvaging from a ship, I might not need to. Might not need that, but then if you wanted to cut into somebody to salvage it, yeah. Hmm. discover that first. Yeah, hey, mom's good, thank you. Okay. Nice and relaxing having a good, good dinner too. still displaying on my my HUD so I say that in relation to some it's nothing new for me waiting a while and coming back to this version of the game sometimes you'd land the ship and of course it wouldn't, wouldn't be there but persistence is a lot, a lot stronger now Was it faster to go in the opposite direction? <laughs> now we're looping around. What's up, DM? Yeah, absolutely. Smash the subscribe button. I was having a look into the. If there's any kind of timeline on the Xbox shortage, and then I read an article in recent times, which was um, it's so short of them on the production lines. I for the moment even marks off for Halo tournament. Had to uh, use some dev boxes, put them in consumer mode. That's how short we are on the components there. We'll stay on this line. So note to self, between gate 3 and 4, go back the other way. choice of a rover or I've got the little golf buggy. I'll try the rover. Is that, that that up there is the space station I believe. Just catching the uh, light from the from the star there now. That is all the way up, I think. 
there. I think, no, not comms array, is it? Where are you? There is, I think, it's um, Everest Harbour. That's what we're looking at. Down from the planet's surface. Lost track of it now. It's because we've rotated around. Love that sort of detail. There, there you go. Press F, I can actually zoom in. There we go. Zoom in a bit. Oh, what? I just, just. The, oh, the, the train just rotated around. Now arriving, City I'll ride around a bit. Wait to a bend there. Right, so this will be gate two. What is this game about? Never seen it. It's currently under development. What I'm playing here is an amalgamation of all the technology brought together so far. And the idea is to create the most realistic sci-fi experience in in the future that's uh, been done before. It's very impressive. So you get your ship and there are many types by lots of different companies. I think the best way to uh, explore that is probably um, subscription and then you get access to a lot of different different ships but you can do missions and credits in games so that you can go and buy more ships and weapons suits and explore environments because there's many of those too. Gate three puts me eight thousand. No, it's going to be gate four. Step away from the platform edge when train yeah. is approaching. Gate four. So what I'm doing here is going back to port where my ship is uh, parked me, and I'm going to get the rover out. We're going to put that in the um, in the cargo hold. Next stop, Metro Center. What? Are we after the Metro Cent? Uh oh. No, we loop round here. Well, it must be... I must be the gate after the Metro... No, wait a minute. This doesn't... This is not making sense. I've just gone one, two, three. Oh, no. no it's making sense now. We're looping round to it. Oh god, I've literally yeah I, I understand what I've done. Ultimately instead of going back on myself, I've taken the, the Uber <laughs> the long route round back to my ship. I needed to retrace steps rather than you know think it's the short ride round to you know, stations because it's not short at all. I've just literally done a complete loop around Hurston. Yeah, once I get the uh, once I get the rover in the, in the ship, then I'll go and select a mission to to do. Yeah, we're starting to uh, 
in the morning now, so. Good light for the takeoff. Okay, I am. I'm really confused here. Now arriving. Oh, let me Metro think about this. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. I've just done a loop, right? So these. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, it's just hit me. It's hit me big time. Quick, 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 quick. Ah! So these these are on two separate loops, aren't they? These two trains are on their own separate loop, and I've just done... Well, there you go, guys. That's what gate one to three looks like on the tube. We'll get there eventually. This, this is the different loop. In my head, I'm thinking it was all one large loop. Not one large loop. Wake up! Yeah, each of those ports which have, have their exits, there's also booths there to pick up um, or deliver packages. From using that in the past. So what... <laughs> just as... Just to take my logic on what I thought I was doing there. I thought I was just going to jump on something that was going to loop all the way round eventually to this you know, the Quilla, where I got parked there, but in fact, I needed to go all the way around these... So, these trains don't go the other way as well, do they? It's literally get on it and whatever part on the loop, the right side you need to be on, but whatever part of the loop, you just have to go around. There's no train that goes one way around the loop and one train that goes the other way around the loop. That's where I think, um... I've had some extra travel time in there, but, you know all day pass ticket and find that. I'm fully healed up. I'm ready for space travel. It's not just the right train. It's like visualizing the way it goes round one way. I kind of figured that I was going back on myself, going, continuing around that loop, you know, big old oh, look at that. It's a star in the sky. Sunrise. Right, I stay on this train. I hope I stay on this train. Stay on this train. Eventually, we'll. Be considerate to your fellow travelers. Do not lock doors. Now, hopefully, this will loop round. I'll feel much better. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> Next stop, Floorville City Gate. It's a long walk. We're effectively opposite side of the loop now, so this thing hopefully is going to take a nice <laughs> left turn. That was right. Tell me that's just a little shimmy there. As we take a big bank to the left, so I can go back to my ship. What is going on here? Are we going all the way round. What?
Anytime. Are we going back on the track or should I, I I'm I'm just you know, this this is really confusing now. What the hell? I'm now at gate two. Step away from the platform edge when train is approaching. <laughs> Lawville City Gates. This is not meant to be a stressful trip. I'm, I'm getting travel anxiety here, I think. Your teeth, teeth cold. Ugh. No, but that's where my ship is and I'm just like what is going on next stop is gate one right, before I go mad I'm just going to check here uh, after traveling at warp I find myself uh, lost on the flipping train with I think I, this is going to be the right next stop. It's going to be the right one. It's gate four. What? And we'll get there. Gate four. It's gate one's next. What? I, I just... How the hell did I end up here? I, I don't know. I don't know. I went one, then two, then three, then the metro station. So I assumed that loop would go three, then four, then five. No. Whatever train's going to gate four. Where's this going next? We're at gate two. That's never going to gate four. We're at gate one. That goes to the mid. Oh my god. Gate one, two, three, the metro center. I gotta get out of here, man. I'm literally lost in space now. Wait a second. I need to change lines, man. What the hell is going on here? Customs area. Before I go absolutely loose. Why don't I just drive the buggy to gate? Should we go to gate four? I'll take, should I take the buggy? Can I take the buggy to four? Wouldn't that be quicker? 21 kilometers is about like a seven hour trek in the buggy. Alright, hold on. Just just breathe. Breathe. <sighs> perimeter gate one. This is the perimeter line. Yes, I was on the perimeter line. I walk into the perimeter line. You're on the run line. Need to make your way back to the metro area and then get on the right train. That's one stop, right? Right, that's one stop from here. So gate one. No, we need to get this line to the metro center. Okay. Right, I know where I'm going now. We need a jetpack. I think I need jetpack. Just let jetpack me jet boots. Let's boost myself over the top of the city or something. Hoverboard. That's it.
read the signs. Read the signs. Where the hell did you end up? You went gate one, two, and three. Then you needed to go to the metro, get off the metro, and then change lines for one that was going to four, not assuming that this line over the other side is going to take you in it. What it is, is the line that's over the other side is going in the opposite direction. The same line. So you need to actually come out of the metro, change lines in the station to another one. space cab I need a space cab or a remote control just to like go and my ship will fly up in the air and go land at the other no here's the station Alright, a couple more minutes, maybe five, and we'll actually be at the, uh, at the exit. Ah, yes, being in a train for the past 24 hours, I imagine what his character is thinking. I've been, I've been tired. Yeah, 24 hours on a train, absolutely. It's still morning, it hasn't been that long in game time. That's a reflection of it. It's over here. Crazy. Oh, I'm getting closer to my ship. It's within touching distance. It should be just one stop from here. Yeah, don't say that. In a minute, I'll get a sign up for like half mission saying you've run out of calories and you need to up your intake before the screen goes grey and you end up fainting in the... No. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the complete train tour of the city um, it wasn't as if I wanted to leave any part of the track unexplored but amazingly enough we made it through it and um, now we will proceed to the uh, appropriate exit where my ship is which is not the four it's just uh, let's get the hell out of it it's not over there I just did, I actually just did two loops I, I did two loops we went around so that's that means the train works both ways. It does go one way and the other. It must have been a flashback from like uh, when I was testing games, you know, to their full extent. I just I felt like I had to, um, you know, make sure that was uh, all working correctly. And it, the whole track, literally both trains, flawless. Right now we're going to gate four, which is this one. I mean, if you'd like, I could test that side too. If you guys are unsure whether this all works, I could actually try and do a proof of test and we can go by around both of these. All the way around that loop and this one. About 15, now 20 minutes to burn. Stand by and let passengers disembark before boarding. I really don't mind. <clears throat> go on, Matt. When does the game go on a, a free weekend or something? Oh, it was. I think I got an email on. There, there was a, there was a free weekend. You could try lots of ships. Next 
if you just got to that past the video. Skip it. These giant cargo cranes. Everything on such a galactic scale. One day, huh? Now that we've uh, master figured out the whole warp bubble thing, and we should be uh, going to warp in a, around about a hundred years. Massive milestone has been uh, passed now with the error correction quantum computers. Now we're really opening the doorway. Massively accelerate the computing power. Now arriving, Lorville City Gate. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Right, we're at gate four, and as you can see, my ship is bar a thousand meters over there. Take no time in my advanced moon rover. question is, can we dock it to the ship without an explosion? Grey Cat PTV. Sorry, you're so wrong. I think we'll take this one. Acclaim. Since when did I blow this up last? What do you mean you blew it? Blow it up. Physics. Did. Alright, I'll pay the fee. Little 18 seconds, huh? Retrieve it. That was a. Uh, <laughs> 100 credits for 18 seconds of patience. What? For what? But this is what I originally came here for. So what we fully tested now is the internal transport system. Well, 50% of it. But, um... Thinking about moving things on, this is exactly what I intended to in the first place. So. I haven't seen you in a while. Very good. Up order, I think. Ramp for my spaceship. Cozy. As you can see, you got space for other people and a few things in the back. got two use buttons. Let's try and get the seat first huh? use. There we go. Got a remote gun turret on top two. Let's power up systems. Check my mirrors. Don't have any. need the remote beeper to get in, you know. Doo -doo. Open ship. Can I do that? Oh, I can lock onto it. Hold on. Hold on. Do we have any remote options? That'd be a requested feature. Is there any way for me to call my ship and open the bay doors? Check here. I'm going to test this. 
Oh, it doesn't have to be on the list, there. It was a thought. Is there a way to request a open, like docking or something? Try this, comms. Oh, could be a little bit okay, but... Maybe it's a uh, feature in progress, so let's uh, exit the seat. Go open the big door. Cargo hold. What am I doing with a pen in my hand? One sec, guys. C menu. Hmm. Okay. Hello. I love doing this stuff. How would it sit? Ground's not quite level, but it might. Oh, would you look at that? Just raised the suspension a little bit. Not so good. Where uh, spatial awareness really is key. Decent. I don't think I've got enough space to depart. Oh. Actually, pretty much on it. Alright. Power off. System off. Down with it. I've got confidence in this. Wow, no bouncing. Oh, I'm impressed. Yeah, I think that's working. That was smooth. That was very smooth. All right, let's take off. <clears throat> mm, I think maybe uh, ping pong could be a thing of the past, you know? Let's get the engines on. Engines are off. And lift. It's speak too soon. I'm telling you, this is uh, miles better than just getting the engines on. Miles better. And we, we've seen everything, and, and that, that's good. It's working as intended. So now let's try and. Hmm. 
Now this space, we can either do a mission or I can actually try and test out the um, sister's part of this. So, seeing as we're not in airspace at the moment, let's try the other part with it all connected. Stop here. Bearing in mind the wind's a little bit choppy. Hopefully if we hold you there. I'm going to test the undock redock with the rover in the cargo bay. It's a very complex set of a set of events. Seems like I've got some gaps there. <laughs> very complex set of events. Tailing a bit. Please contact ATC to land. I think we're just going to fly through here. Because I can. some altitude. Dock 
What? Denied? Request to dock activated. Request to dock denied. Landing gear raised. Get a bit closer. My own ship is refusing me. <laughs> Don't do this now. Request to dock That's better. Activated. Need to be closer. Request to dock granted. Although I will say. Bit of atmospheric bounce going on here. Turn the thrusters right down. I don't want to catapult myself. Hopefully we'll get we'll get lock. Maybe this is still moving a bit. No. Then we'll go with the auto dock. I just wonder if the sh is the ship moving a bit. Come on. Ooh, I was thinking about it. Yeah, it looks like we've broken the uh, docking mechanism or something like that. is not liking that. Let's see if I can break it. And okay, now we're doing the launch sequence. Oh dear. So the ship seems to be in some kind of bounce which is affecting the ability to dock it. Move away a bit. We might be able to get it to work and just be a bit more precise. Request a dock activated. Request a dock denied. Be closer. Right, so I do have that now. We need to kind of be up here. Whoa. Yeah, I'm desyncing from the ship. We might explode. I kind of push close to it, push away. Or maybe go on. Oh, that that looked it, you know. other solution is I land this ship land on top <laughs> I try get into the cargo by hold man I've, I've walked across the wings of ships before but that's like whoa okay let's move out a bit and then we'll, uh, we'll come back
Okay, let's request permission again. I'll give us another try. Request to dock activated. Request to dock granted. Alright, turning the speed right down. Okay, we impacted there, not good. It did go smooth the last time. However, I didn't have a rover in there either. If I bring that up, I get two white dots together. Opening the canopy is going to help. Just position to align with docking port. It's like you almost want to like dock it in and then tell the auto to grab it quick. I'm sure they do. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a case of leaving this for a couple of minutes and eventually it like works it out. As we get like a lucky it it's getting closer. It it wants to finish it. To it. If, I, if I had the solution, I'd be doing it. But I think, um, see, it, it kind of thinks it's docked because if I press it again and it goes begin launch sequence, and we've tried doing things like nudging the ship and bits and pieces, I could try and land on the roof of the ship and push it downwards and, and see if I could, like, somehow reposition the main ship, put a bit of pressure on it. Can't fire it either. Yeah, we tried it with the canopy open. What the hell is that? Someone out there. That's a planet or something. Anyway. Okay, so if I deploy the landing gear. It's just going to explode, I know it. Technically, I could get out of this ship now and leave it. Leave this hovering and then transfer from one to the other, maybe. But what I want to do is I want to try and put downwards pressure on the ship here. That's me using as much pressure as this ship's allowing me to put on it. to help on this one. I put the landing gear away. Not 
allow me to do landing gear because I'm still in docking mode. Whoa, don't black out. Still with the docking system engaged, right? We're like bouncing at the same rate. Right, do I still have permission to dock here? No, I won't have because I'm kind of in this configuration. Yeah, I'm stuck in docking mode and I've kind of got my gear out here, so it's... Uh... Is there a way to cycle targets off this? to pull up Mulby Glass. How about we turn all the ship systems off? Give it a good reset. And that's last resort, yep. Yeah. Systems disengaged. Of course we start falling. Your adventure, courtesy of Kruger Intergalactic. Oh shit! Stabilizes me. Right, we're good. We're good. No. Hmm. Land on the ground off and on. I'll go with that. Try it. Got a reboot. out and get back in the thing. Damn. It's still, it's like locked in, right? target to lock on to.
Alright, we're stuck. What to do now? I think I think I've explored all the options of resetting this thing. It seems uh this actual ship is kind of bound to try and dock, but it's not going to dock when this thing is got its landing gear out. So. That's right. Like the docking thing even seems to be completely out of whack too. What I could try is landing this ship at the main station and reset it. And then I should be able to redock it with it. That's probably a... Yeah, let's, let's try that. That's probably a final go with it. emergency landing. set this or recall it back in. Give that a try. I think I need If I call it if I reclaim that ship it's not going to still have the over in the cargo hold, is it? Oh, it's worth a try. Still up, yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Stored. On Orison. Yeah, because that's where I actually landed one the last time I played. <clears throat> that's because that fight is not put away yet. Will this one separately dock with the ship? Are they tied like that? Or untied like that? I don't think I've ever tried to replace a crash one before. 
hangar 8. Back to 8. Different or same ship? Definitely in a different position. Don't think I landed that center. Not that time. Display looks reset. Promising. Off place. You are clear to launch. Repair ship. I think this is new though. Oh, actually, let's have a scratch. Okay, cool. the gear. Excellent. Sliding engines up. Let's find mothership. Thank you. And please visit again. Any time. Bouncing a bit, so this this will be interesting. Now, with a manual dock, I take it you still get it so far, and then it sort of grabs it in. Or with a manual dock, you literally have to be like centimeter perfect to get this canopy to kind of slot in there, if you know. Does it still grapple on when you're close enough? Alright, permission to dock. Request to dock activated. Request to dock granted. Am I the stationary object or is that the stationary object I'm bouncing on? I'll try up and then see if I can auto dock. lost. Alright, I'm going to try a dangerous version now. Request to dock activated. See if I can actually get this Beyond. 
and close. <laughs> See, if I if I don't like force it, this thing just bounces away, you know. So it's like um, that is. I look up. I have to look straight up, or like that. No, if I look straight up and then press a key. If I do that, I can't continue to look straight up. Yeah, that. Okay. Seeing as all this. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the sound of that. So piggyback it and see if I can get on the main ship and land this ship. Can I lose the uh, lock, though? I want to, like. Alright, good. down and turn the engines off and see if I can actually just bring it down and then dock while we're on the ground. Because there is an access port on top. Okay, so I did this before. Is not happy with that. Whoa! Before I got it like pretty stable, but it was f in space. Shoot straight up, vertical. Mm. Mm. First time I tried this, it actually held it. It worked. What about this time? I got some. Hey. Hang on. Hang on. I think I found a kind of a center here. Try and uh, power off, see what happens. So rather than try and land it down on the ground, I'm thinking of taking it up vertical. Although that ship is this is slipping. Uh oh. No, I'm gonna work it in it quick. Upside down on there, of course. Try that one. Alright, when you're pushing down thrust on it, but as soon as you let go, it's gonna. Oh no, it's kinda gonna center. No. the shift as soon as I power down it starts like just throwing it up in the air but the first time I landed on here before, it was like just perfect. I got it to stay like nicer still. Go 
here, maybe I can secure it a bit. You know what I mean? It like sort of throws it up in the air. Ping pong. Yeah, anything worth a try, just rotate it around the other way. <laughs> Why not? Pushing the engine to its limits. Oh, then, let's try this way. Kobe. How you guys doing? Oh my god. Uh, how about if I bridge it across like... Please doesn't blown up yet though. I mean overall that's pretty... Pretty solid the way the collision isn't just instantly giving you like an explosion. Alright, I'm going to try and wedge it here. So chat, what do you reckon? Up or down? Up or down? That thing's moving. Up or down? Up. Like lean here too. Oh no! No! My ship. <laughs> Let's go down and get it then. I think. I think it's down. <laughs> I think we're talking down. Catch it in the air. There we go. Always going to be this way, a bit of acrobatics, you know. You're not with that camera angle, you're not. That's, that's falling too fast. Oh! Oh, well, there's the insurance claim right there. another one <laughs> I tell you what I tell you what I'll try I'll go to one of the uh, side stations here or the smaller smaller stations we'll spawn in that fighter and see if I can reconnect it that way when we're grounded and if not we'll have to do it in space light up the engines get out of here Right, I'm gonna need another one of those uh, stations. Any, any, anyone? Pick anyone. Just let's click get some altitude first. Whew. Worth, worth a try. It wasn't really secured at the end of the day. Way it is, isn't it?
Well, that was the theory. It was the, the atmosphere or something. Uh, really, I don't actually... I don't know if it's anything to do with what the what we've got my cargo hold, but that's still safe. The ro the rover's still safe. I'll eventually get to do a mission in a second. A few minutes. Right, let's try and do a quantum jump to one of the smaller stations. Let's try Edmund. Go, jump. No, not jumping today, huh? Like, you know. Try it again, shall we? Embarrassing me here. I can probably fly it myself. Warning, align to target. That's exactly what I was kind of doing. Nope. Now we need to exit apps. <clears throat> I think that's the nearest one. It's only 40 kilometers. This could be a lot closer now. Well, it doesn't like that. Alright, we'll travel there. So that's the only thing that's from the, a bit from the past. I don't know if that's the effect on the rover and or on it, or whether we can dock in the space just fine. Either way, it's almost working as intended. Definitely uh, putting the rover inside the ship was way smoother. I didn't, didn't do any sort of cascade of bouncy thingy. off a bit here. There we go, only 11 kilometers in closing. If I can find one of the stations that has a spawn point in it, we're good. I've got too much time on the hands, man. Oh, we're not. Got a visual on the landing pad. Okay. Good. This is one where I can spawn ships on. I'll park just by it and then we'll try and get the other ship in. a ship to a ship that's on the ground does it give you enough clearance does it give you clearance oh that was smooth let's turn engines off engines are off Attempt number two. The 
ship on the ground is nice and stable. But this is whether I've actually got clearance to. I think it. I think yes. Weather's improved. One destroyed. That is error. error. Oh, claim it. See what happens. Do it. Go right, instant, man. Get it now. No. Yes. Retrieve. Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access. No. It. I mean, it's a large pad out there. Hmm. Is that going to be same for all these pads? Then there's, a, there's only one, there's a, well, just try again. Because I'm pretty sure there's two larger pads there, and I think you would normally be able to, I'll, I'll get one more try. It's here, apparently. Doesn't like that. Then go to space station. Like right there and reconnect. another fighter in and then that will go too well let's let me just go up the station let's get in orbit and i reckon the reconnect will happen there your main ship to take that one if i do that i'd lose the rover in the hold though right what i'm doing is trying to keep them all together i'm strange miss
Right, picture up. And where I want to go is Tube Station. Which is... That's it. I need to select or just maybe just look at it because it'll be closer above, I think. Got a boost. Too hot, man. <sighs> well, okay. Looks like we'll be bringing the whole lot back in. <clears throat> That's interesting. I swear to God, man. I had everything X, shift, the whole down, usually to stop that shit easy. Maybe I mashed up the thrusters trying to land on top of it or something. I, I don't know. That was odd. Did I hit the station? No, the station hit me. I don't know why they decided to do that, but... Oh, looks like we're okay. Got some uh, Grim Hex medicine. You, you have been regenerated. Wonderful. I wanted that. Quick way of fixing the ship anyway. Alright. Back to normal, shall we? To the consoles. Okay. Nothing broken. Flame it all back. And I'll even pay the fee. Go back to the next testing. I claim that as well. To Edmund, apparently. Do it. Done both. Alright, 4 minutes 10 seconds. Let's accept a mission now. No more mucking about with that. We got delivery. We got this search mission, which sounds interesting. So there's a time constraint on once we get this in. Note that other interested parties, possibly hostile, may have got word valuables on board the wreckage and extreme caution should be used in the air. Gonna need a weapon for this, I think. Let's go buy ourselves a weapon. Which I think will be on the other floor. A 
don't remember. What the hell just happened there? I'll take the stairs. I'll, I'll take the stairs. Anyway, weapons, where are they? That's nice tops. Not weapons, where are you? Other side. stuff. I get like a rocket launcher and a sniper rifle. Yeah. That's it. I forgot about it already. But someone needs to have a word with the um, controller of that station because... I was trying to dock and to suddenly find that the main thrusters for something of that mass is very, very dangerous. That up the closing speed considerably, you know. They're not hidden now, are they? Right, who are you? The hell you want? Weapons. You really don't learn, do you? We're done. Hostile. Honestly, can't see either the upper floor, maybe in the corner. I didn't go through to admin. I don't need to go through to admin. Around here, nothing. You not buy weapons here anymore. No, I don't need to go outside.
is this? Okay, this is new. Maybe there's some weapons here. So I'd have thought this being a pirate station to be able to buy them in some way. I'll take off and go somewhere else. I really thought there'd be... No, this is not it. Hi, welcome to the store. There's drive systems and stuff. Upgrades if you want to get through ship. I think that covers everywhere. Kind of makes sense that you'd have some kind of weapon store there, I guess, in a place with less rules. Oh, maybe the wet. We'll go in and see if um, it could be just ships. search oh, this one I do. I'm gonna 
think of it. Oh, I haven't got a spare suit now. A good thing to check. Oh, I do. I can't see myself there. I'll probably do that over here. Brush out the hospital. Stop this, see if we can find some in between. Let's clear ahead. Well, looks like it. surface there I think yeah, let's go to that OM there see how close that gets me actually and it, I think that aid station is very close <laughs> who knows what's down here <laughs> might need a shotgun maybe Scenery epic, though. Wow.
be careful, a little bit low on boost now. <laughs> Recharge right there. It's down there on the same spot okay let's get better landing site these up. We got somewhere in the middle. Land again deployed. That'll do. Get a big awakening here. Risk it. Okay, let's have a look. Got ones on well, the very close. So this stuff's like time critical apparently. Imagine if you have to fit a specific module to the ship. This is just time seal. Let's place that. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There's a timer on it. Yeah. Twelve minutes. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Seriously? Uh, was this some kind of stasis field technology I need to bring with me to get this done? That seriously says like... Oh my god. I'm going to be doing this like one trip at a time or something. The drop off is where? 92,000 kilometers over there. Two trips. Thing is, when it says drop off, is that am I going to have to individually unload it? I think probably. All right, let's do three of these and see what happens. Times, right? Right from the start. And that one's now got like, what, 10 minutes left. How many more have we got? 
I tell you what, if there's only one more package, then hell, let's do it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Don't rub it there. No! Engines on just in case I had to take off extremely quickly. Let the torch on. Stay there. Oh. Landing gear raised. Bit of a crater there. Faster. Looks like there is. Let's try the demo. It's not working. No. Not now. Got it. Took a few attempts, but it looked on. Working very well. The press and hold doesn't work. Press and hold. Press. Not working. Come on. Don't do this. Usually you wait for it to lock. Press and hold B. Any orbital markers I can log on to? Yeah, 
do. Is that going to get me around to the other side? I don't think so. Five minutes and lucky. Quantum drive is now on. Let's go. to land this it's as close as possible so I'm going to go right there down not pretty that will do on there. Two minutes. The next building on this one. Or this one. good time I remember that in the future like up to the orbital marker gave me much better view come down and 
warp to this. Nope. I meant drop off. Yeah, no time to waste. Come on. That is fine, just... No! No! What the hell, man? Don't play about with me here, man. Just process the damn thing. Oh, please. Oh, oh don't bug out now. Come on, man. What the actual? Oh, bullshit. That real bullshit, mate. I, ca I can't even. what it is how much time's on this one 25 seconds I forget uh, chuck it might have clearance. Successful mission. I really. Nice some gear. Camera Rain. angle? There you go. I can't even see what caused that, but.
next? Priority. Let's get contraband. Let's get myself on the trajectory out. I think I'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to set the auto destruct now. Self destruct activated. And before it goes off, I'm going to escape. I think. Looks like the auto destruct doesn't give you time to escape. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, that. I suppose you might want to change the timer on that one. <laughs> it's just no luck with it. <clears throat> Have a good night all, and I think I'll probably be um, back tomorrow to play some more stuff. Two. Not bad, but a bit of fun. <laughs> Blew up some radioactive stuff. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad, not bad. It'll be a flip game. Peter Morris.